Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from interest.co.nz and welcome to a special report from here at the Reserve Bank in Wellington on the six monthly financial stability report. Now this is a six monthly report that looks at the strength of New Zealand's financial system and how things have coped over the last six months or so. And the Reserve Bank says that our banking system has coped much better than the rest of the world's and remains relatively strong. But it has warned the banks that they need to not restrict business lending too tightly and that they don't need to get too enthusiastic with their lending to the housing market. The Reserve Bank has warned again that the economy risks becoming unbalanced, with too much debt being sucked in, pushing up the currency and damaging the export sector. It hasn't said it will do anything specific to deal with that problem, but it's warned about it again. Meanwhile, the Reserve Bank has also talked about tighter capital adequacy requirements for the banks in later years and has said that it expects finance companies, or at least some of them, to close over the next year or two as there's rationalisation and as they move into the new Reserve Bank regulatory regime. The Reserve Bank has also commented that house prices are likely to slow down after this current period of recovery, partly because the banks are not lending as aggressively as they used to. I'm Bernard Hickey, that was a special report, brought to you from here at the Reserve Bank in Wellington, on its six-monthly financial stability report.